Okay, everybody, we're going to play one more game for the dogs as part of Kim Page's birthday special. And that game is none other than Double Dare. Let's see how we do. I'm looking forward to having a great game. Here we go. If your cabin is on the starboard side, where is it? On the left? No, it's the right. Arizona's Grand Canyon was discovered by which explorers? Francisco Coronado, which is right. Point information that sticks down from the ceiling of a cave is called by which name? Stalactite? Yep. Which playwright created the Odd Couple and Brighton Beach memoirs? That is definitely Neil Simon. The abbreviation Addy, after a person's name, tells you that his or her profession is what? Lawyer. A T T Y, yep. On all American coins except one, the person is facing left. Which coin has the person facing right? The penny. Who is Dennis the Menace's comic book dog? Rob. Double Dare Halftime Toss Up Challenge and it's bowling. I'm pretty good at this. If a skunk sprays your dog, the odor can be removed by using what? Uh, dry oatmeal? Yeah. A colorless sweater that buttons up the front is called by which name? Um, a, uh, a cardigan. Yeah, I was thinking of that from the get-go, so I just wanted to trust my gut instinct. In which sport are some moves called tip rolls, outriggers, and royals? Dare. Ski? Oh, they got it. Next up. Who is Sarah Ferguson's husband? Prince Andrew, that's absolutely right. Which movie in a chess game means the king is dead? Which movie in a chess game means the king is dead? Checkmate! Which 
Which herb is sometimes called Russian penicillin, yet it's supposed to scare off vampires? Garlic. Oh, oh no, I didn't want to dare. I knew the answer. Crap, I hit the wrong button. Garlic, 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 garlic. Thank God. Who was the first man to hold the office of Vice President of the U.S.? Thomas Jefferson. No, it's John Adams. John Adams. Ugh. Oh, Philly. What would you have trouble seeing if your doctor told you you were hyperoptic? Things close to you. In the 1920s, dancers knocked their knees together to do which dance? Charleston. What type of clothing would you be wearing if you had on a parka? A heavy coat? Let's run the obstacle course. Ready? Go! $260. And I'm going to see you all for another game after the break.